Hey plant gang, one of my favorite plants on the planet right here, Taxodium disticum, the bald cypress. Now why do I like it? It's, it's a conifer, it's a gymnosperm, it's in this class of gymnosperms that are quite unique, deciduous conifers, meaning that it loses its foliage in the winter time. Uh, this is one of the few conifers that is known for really nice fall color, but it's coppery brown uh, fall color. And this grove that I'm standing in really comes alive in the late fall when it turns into fall color. Right now, at the end of July, uh, cones are starting to form on this. It's quite beautiful. This grove is adding shade to this garden. It's a beautiful, large, southeastern, in particular, native uh, native to typically wetter places uh, in the southeast, but adaptable in the home or commercial landscape to both wet and dry sites. So Taxodium disticum, this is the bald cypress, hardy from zones four through nine, can get 50 to 70 foot high, maybe even 100 foot high, spread out 20 to 45 five foot wide, typically quite pyramidal, even as it grows in age, it stays quite pyramidal. Uh, it's adaptable to wet sites and dry sites. Uh, now what that is typically about is how this plant handles soils with lower oxygen levels. And so it's adaptable to lower, uh, lower levels of oxygen in wet soils, uh, and it's adaptable to lo lower levels of oxygen in dry, even compacted soils. So uh, in high summer, this plant does produce cones on it and they're rounded. If you were to take one of those off and let them dry on, on a table, they would actually break up into several chambers and it might look a little bit more like a cone that you're used to. Uh, you might get this mixed up with another deciduous conifer, Dawn Redwood or Metasequoia glyptostroboides. Uh, but Metasequoia has opposite foliage arrangement uh, where Bald cypress has alternate foliage arrangement, which is something that you need to look forward to uh, and look at to make sure you know the difference. Uh, typically less, uh, less bold texture, maybe finer texture in uh, bald cypress than in Dawn Redwood. Here's a landscape tip. A large ornamental tree for parks or large lawns. Good for growing in wet soils, either in low spots or near water.